Hey guys, hope you're all fine. Today I'm going to show you how you can create banners, billboards, flags and how to give wind effect to the banners, flags, tablecloth and the shares for the entrance. This is the part 3 of modeling a building tutorial. So if you are new to it, I will recommend you to watch my previous tutorials. So let's get started. So for the start go to the top left side of the building and add 3D cursor on the corner bricks. Then add a cylinder to the scene. Then in bottom left dialog box change the vertices to 16 to have less amount of polygons. Then in edit mode scale it down and rotate it on 90 degree on X or Y axis make sure to move it outside in object mode and position it to the center of the corner bricks. Then in edit mode select the top edges of the mesh and pull them out to define length of it. I will be applying banner to it so make sure to give good amount of space and make it thin. Then select the top edges and extrude them out and scale them up. Then extrude it again and extrude it one more time. Now scale the edges down and extrude and scale them up. Then extrude and scale them down and then repeat it one last time. Then in object mode apply shade smooth and check auto smooth from the normal step. Now just like before drag and drop the old material that we have used for the stairways. Now in edit mode select all and duplicate the mesh and move them down to define how much height you want to give to your banners. Then select both and add 3D cursor between them. Then add a cylinder between them and scale it to connect both of them. Make sure to make it thin. Move it closer to the end side of the cylinder and duplicate it to the other side to define the width of the banner. Now add a plane to the scene. Press delete to focus on the plane. Then in edit mode scale down its width and position it in between two cylinders. After that just subdivide it at least four times. Then in object tab click the overlay button and check origins. After that in edit mode change the position of the mesh so it lies on the top of the plane. The reason I'm doing this is because the origin has a lot to do with the modifiers. Then just in object mode or rotate the mesh on 90 degree and move it up to just align and connect it with the upper cylinders. Then in edit mode you will need to duplicate it and snap it to the bottom of the plane. If it does not reach the cylinder just extrude the end vertices to connect them. Then select all and press alt m and merge the vertices by distance. Now just go to the modifier tab, select wave modifier to apply some wind effect to it and apply shade smooth to the mesh. Press the spacebar for animation of the banner. To change the speed, decrease the value of the modifier as you can see the effect of the wave modifier is based on the origin of the mesh. You can also change the position inside edit mode to apply different direction to the wind. You can increase the number of waves by decreasing the value of width. Narrowness changes the width of the waves. You can define how much wider waves you want from the narrowness value. The height gives how much height you want to give to the waves. Even you can put negative values to invert the wave effect. This is helpful if you want to change the direction of the waves.
Now we just need to bind the edges of the banner to the cylinder for that select all and just deselect the top and bottom vertices of the banner. Then press control negative from the numpad to decrease the selection. Now go to the object data properties and click on plus sign to add slot to vertex group. Then hit assign. Now invert the selection and decrease the weight value and hit assign. Now you just need to decrease the selection as well as decrease the weight and hit assign. You will just need to repeat it till you get to the last edge of the banner and for that you just need to use zero weight value to mark zero influence of the wave modifier on the banner. After that you just need to add that vertex group inside the wave modifier. Now if I hit spacebar you will see that its edges are binded with the cylinder. One more thing, first change the height of the wave to make it more visible. You can also change the direction of the waves by changing the X and Y values of the wave modifier. Negative value of X will change the direction from right to left and positive value will do the opposite. Same goes for the Y value. If you change the value of Y to positive, then the direction of the waves will be from bottom to top and negative value will give waves from top to bottom. After that, decrease the value of height the way it was before. Now press ALT D to duplicate the banner and just slide it slightly to the left side. After that, in edit mode, select the end of the top and bottom cylinder with the middle one and slide them out to give support to the newly created banner. Duplicate the mid cylinder and move it in between banners. Now add material and give dark color value to the banners to see how it's, it will look with the wind effect as it is not easy to preview it with bright colors. Now just duplicate the banner with the cylinders and move them to the other corner of the building and make some adjustment to the cylinders. Now select the banner and add image texture to its material. I have already created some textures for it so I am going to load it inside the image texture. After that change the image in the bottom left window to the uploaded one. I will share these texture with you guys the link will be in the description. All of these pictures were rendered inside EV and later I have used Photoshop for editing text. Now just plug the image texture to the base color. To apply these images on the banner, select the banner and in edit mode press U and select unwrap. Now in the UV image editor, scale down the UVs from both sides to cover the banner image. If the rotation of the UV does not match the image, then rotate it on 180 degree in UV editor. Now the issue is the back side of the image is inverted. So to rectify it, you will need to add mix RGB node after image texture and after that add geometry node. Now plug the geometry back face into the factor of mix RGB. Then duplicate the image texture and plug that into the mix RGB color node. Now you will need two UV map nodes and plug them into the image texture. Make sure to add second slot for second UV map inside the object data properties. After that select camera icon of the second UV map. Then add this UV map inside of the UV map node and plug that into the second image texture. Then in UV editor slide the UV map to cover the other image data.
Rotate the image on 180 degree inside UV editor to match the rotation of the image. And to flip the image in UV editor, press R key two times and give 180 value and press enter. This way you can flip the image and make face in proper direction. Now just change the RGB color to linear to take away some dark values from it. To make it old, dull and washed out, you will need to add hue saturation node just after the mix RGB node. Then decrease the saturated value and decrease the value to decrease the brightness of the image. Now you will just need to repeat it for the other banner. To create the flag you will need to define the position of it. So select any four of the mesh of the building and place 3D cursor between them. Then select the cylinder and in edit mode duplicate the upper cylinder then press shift S and select selection to cursor. Then just separate it from the mesh. After that select the cylinder and slide the end part of it and snap it on the wall. Then in object mode change its origin to 3D cursor inside the object tab. Now just rotate the cylinder slightly upward. After that add a cylinder and rotate it and scale it down as a base of the cylinder. After this, you will just need to add a plane for the flag, press slash to hide all and then scale it down to the proportion of the flag. You will need to repeat the same steps as I did for before for the banner, subdivide it couple of time and add edge loops at the border of the edges. And select the corner edges to extrude them and make them similar to a rope. Give some edge loops to them. After that apply shade smooth to the model in object mode and then select wave modifier. And now just play with the X and Y value to give direction to the waves. I have decreased width value to apply more waviness to it and then it decreases the speed. Then just like before you will need to add uh, the vertex script to make end vertices attached to a point. After that just unhide all and rotate and position the flag in such a way that its edges meet the cylinder. After that just duplicate it and move it to the other side.
Now I have just added image texture and uploaded the flag texture for it. Make sure to set it to linear and add hue saturation node to make it old and have some washout look to it. In the same manner I have used this technique to create the tablecloth, same goes for the street lamp banners and the building banners, as well as for the entrance shade. It's a really effective technique through which you can add wind effect within no time. I could have used physics for the wind but a wave modifier can easily get you the results by saving a lot of time. For the billboard go to the top of the building and apply a 3D cursor on top of it and add a cube to the scene. Then in edit mode scale it down and position it closer to the edge. To make things easy for you add wireframe modifier usually I don't use it because I kind of like modeling stuff but this can get your job done. After that in edit mode just add diagonal edges by selecting two vertices opposite to each other and press J to join them. Do this every, uh, to every side of the box. After that apply material to it with fully metallic value and gray stone. Then just array the mesh and increase its value. Then copy the same array and change the excess of array and decrease the value too. For the support add a cylinder to the scene and in edit mode scale it down and after that add a cube and scale it down on Z axis. Snap it on the top of the cylinder. Then apply shade smooth and auto smooth while you are in object mode then add grey color to its material. After that duplicate it and move it to the center and to the corner of the board. Then add a plane in front of the board. Then in edit mode snap its edges to the front vertices of the cage. You can select both and scale them if necessary. For the billboard lighting, add a simple cube at the top of the board, then grab and slide the front faces of it. Then extrude it slight slightly outward and change the position of the face downward and rotate it slightly then select faces then scale them out both at the same time. Now select the inner faces and insert them then extrude them in. After that just apply material to it. Now drag and drop the same material of the support to this mesh. After that change its position and move it closer to the end of the board and then apply array modifier to have number of copies of them. 
After that, you just need to add image texture to the material of the board and unwrap it. And do the same node setting as we did for the banners. And that's pretty much about it. If you like my tutorial then subscribe and support me on Patreon where you will be able to get the project files that I have used in my tutorials. Thanks for watching.